I'm just uh, demonstrating how we are going about uh, fine calibration of the flux gate magnetometer units. Um, while the application notes give a lot of clues as to how to scale uh, the plots in different sensitivity modes, um, we're dealing with two different sensors with different resolutions and then in the software there's four different sensitivity settings. Um, so to get rid of the guesswork, um, using a coil uh, created by uh, Eric Kern of uh, Fat Quarter Software and since we know the uh, number of turns per meter and on this particular coil I think it's uh, 2500 turns uh, per meter and so with a uh, with a simple equation we can figure out uh, the amount of gamma that will be produced um, in the center of the coil uh, for a given uh, amount of current um, that is supplied by this uh, Eric also made um, this little power supply it's got outputs for the sensor and outputs for the coil um, it's got a uh, 1k pot built in um, but I noticed to get down to um, you know ones or tens of microamps I needed to add a, another 10k uh, pot in series um, because it was very hard to get down to uh, passing current through this coil at levels of you know 10 to 20 microamp you know or even less now I can get with that 10k pot in series uh, what I've done is I've cranked the power supply all the way up and this particular potentiometer has about 20 turns on it so it gives you a lot of fine tuning so I can get within a fraction of a microamp um, and uh, he also supplied um, a calibration list that he had written long long ago so I've got a chart and uh, so for any given amount of current I know what uh, value of gamma will be um, seen by the sensor uh, so right now I've got I've got no current going through the coil and so what we do is reset the software and zero it out and I'm first doing this with the FGM38 uh, 3 sensor uh, which has a resolution of 2 nanoteslas and there's four sensitivity settings I've got to go through in order to get the plot scaling correct like I said right now we're guesstimating uh, so the values on the right are close to being accurate, but we want to get them as accurate as possible. So what I'll do is uh, I've got it in its highest sensitivity mode now. So what I do is the way we're going to calibrate this is I'm going to use uh, I'm doing calibrations for each sensor separately in each different sensitivity mode. Right now it's in its highest. And uh, so without any current going through the coil, I'm going to calibrate, zero this plot, and reset it. So everything is set to half field. And then I note the, di the digital output is at half field at 128. Uh, so is the analog output and I see the frequency so now what I'll do is um, apply current to the coil and produce different levels of gamma within the coil which will add to the earth field and then um, you know say I pass let's see let's take a look at Eric's notes so, as you can see, if I pass uh, 10 microamp, I should see 
22.5 gamma or 22.5 nanotesla um, change in the plot. So that's how we're going to determine, uh, get, get the plot scaling uh, down as accurate as possible. And then I'll repeat this for the ranges of sensitivity. Um, so that's eight, eight separate experiments that I've got to run. So it's quite tedious, uh, but it will take the guesswork out of this. So just wanted to show you guys that. Um, we'll try to make these, they're already very precise instruments, but um, as far as getting the scaling uh, down to a science, and as accurate as possible. That's our calibration method. So, anyway, thanks for watching.